left, right, left, right, eyes, right. What am I on about, you might well be asking. Hello again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, my name's Jack, I'm, I'm part of the staff team, Broughton Church, and uh, just another of these uh, occasional reflections for this lockdown. This actually is a little postscript to my last reflection, which focused on a verse from Psalm 16. So it was Psalm 16, verse eight, and it says, I keep my eyes always on the Lord, with him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. I keep my eyes always on the Lord, with him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. A strange thing happened uh, just after I'd recorded the last reflection, which encouraged us to keep our eyes on the Lord, whatever the situation. I always watch these back before uploading them, uh, just in case I've, uh, I've made a mistake. And while I was in the middle of watching the playback, uh, I received a phone call from my nephew to tell me that my brother had died uh, the night before. An unexpected call. And after the call, uh, I decided to listen to the rest of the reflection and it served as a reminder to ensure that I was fixing my eyes on Jesus in that moment. Today is uh, a further thought from this verse focused on the phrase, with him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Firstly, it's good to acknowledge the closeness of Jesus in every moment, good and bad. As Paul says in his letter to the Philippian church, the Lord is near. This is true even in the middle of this pandemic. The Lord is near. Lord, we just, in this moment, acknowledge your nearness. He is at my right hand. Well, that's where the eyes right bit fits in. Life is a bit like a march. Left, right, left, right, left, right. But there are key moments when it is particularly important to ensure we turn our eyes towards him. A bit like a, a parade of soldiers when they go past the Queen. Maybe this pandemic and the impact it's having on you even today is one of those moments. The other thought about this, uh, this being at my right hand, it's very difficult to look right if I'm constantly looking forward. One of my personal weaknesses is, is looking ahead. This can be very useful if I'm organizing an event or we're having some building work done on the house and I've had to plan ahead to order certain items that were my responsibility to get to make sure they were here on time. That's, that's quite useful. But I find in life that as I look ahead more generally and anticipate things, I can get stuck in anxiety. What if? How will that be? What does this mean? Will I be able to cope? Now, it might just be me. I don't know whether you ever struggle with those questions. But as I reflected on this, uh, this passage a while ago, and this week it's been very real for me, if my eyes are on him and therefore looking right, I cannot do anything but entrust the way ahead to him. If he's the one that's looking ahead and my eyes are on him, entrust what's coming to him. He knows. It ensures that my focus is on this moment, this present moment, this moment with Jesus. And looking right, looking to him, the one who's at my right hand, I can enjoy the fact that the Lord is with me in this moment. And he says, here I am. Lord, thank you for your closeness to me in this moment. And that I can trust you for what is to come. For the what, the how, the where. I keep my eyes always on you. With you at my right hand, I will not be shaken. God bless you.
See you again soon. Bye for now.